Choking occurs when an object becomes stuck in the throat or the windpipe and blocks air from flowing into the lungs. Children, particularly those under five, often put objects in their mouth. This is a normal part of how they explore the world. However, some small objects or food items can be just the right size to get stuck in a child's airway and cause choking. Things such as grapes, cherry tomatoes, sausages, whole nuts, lollipops and sweets, such as marshmallows and hard-boiled sweets, marbles, coins, button batteries, balloons, popcorn, nappy sacks and small toys can be dangerous. No matter how careful you are, your child may choke on something, but by following these steps, you can help reduce the risk. Ensure food is cut into small pieces and stones and pips are removed from fruits. Keep small items out of the reach of children. Coughing is a natural response when something obstructs our airway. If your child is coughing after swallowing an item, encourage them to carry on coughing to bring up what they're choking on. Do not leave your child alone. If your child is still conscious, but they're either not coughing, or the coughing isn't effective at removing the item, or they are silent, use back blows. Back blows for babies under one year. Sit down and lay your baby face down across your lap, supporting their head with your hand. Give up to five sharp back blows with the heel of one hand in the middle of the back between the shoulder blades. The aim is to relieve the obstruction with each blow rather than to give all five. If back blows don't relieve the choking and your baby is still conscious, give chest thrust to infants under one year. This will create an artificial cough, increasing pressure in the chest and helping to dislodge the object. Chest thrusts for children under one year. Lay your baby face up along the length of your thigh. Find the breastbone and place two fingers in the middle. Give up to five sharp chest thrusts or pushes, compressing the chest by about a third. The aim is to relieve the obstruction with each blow rather than to give all five. Back blows for children over one year. Lay a small child face down on your lap as you would a baby. If this isn't possible, support your child in a forward leaning position and give up to five back blows from behind. The aim is to relieve the obstruction with each blow rather than to give all five. If back blows don't relieve the choking and your child is still conscious, give abdominal thrust to children over one year. This will create an artificial cough, increasing pressure in the chest and helping to dislodge the object. Abdominal thrusts for children over one year. Stand or kneel behind your child. Place your arms under the child's arms and around their upper abdomen. Clench your fist and place it between the belly button and ribs. Grasp this hand with your other hand and pull sharply inwards and upwards. Repeat up to five times. The aim is to relieve the obstruction with each thrust rather than to give all five. Make sure you don't apply pressure to the lower rib cage, as this may cause damage. Call 999 if the blockage doesn't come out after trying back blows and either chest or abdominal thrusts. Keep trying this cycle until help arrives. Or call 999 if your child becomes unconscious. Even if the object has come out, get medical help. Part of the object might have been left behind, or your child might have been hurt by the procedure. Remember, the best way to avoid choking is by following our steps on reducing your risk. For further advice, see NI Direct. Ask, are you choking? Or look for obvious signs of choking. If so, give up to five back blows. Give up to five abdominal over one year or chest thrusts under one year. Call 999 and alternate between the blows and the thrusts.